right, so we're here at the house again, and what I'm just going to show you is if we zoom on this, and in fact what we'll do is we'll isolate it, and now without the smoothing group, without the uh, wireframe overlay, you can see that you can't really tell where everything ends and stops, so what we're going to do is under polygon, we're going to go down to smoothing groups, and in fact what we can do is we can select, basically we've selected the parts that will be, um, not sure what you call them, like directly vertical, where these middle areas here will slant inwards. So we'll just go auto smooth, in fact, just a smoothing group of one, and so that looks, you know, round ish. Unless you go up and look directly at it, you can see, and you can see that, you know, it's got square sides. It looks fairly round from a distance, and unless you go up and sort of, you know, to lick the pole, I guess, you're gonna be alright. You're gonna be alright. So what we're gonna do now is select. Uh, select inverse and we'll go spin the group of two. So now that all looks quite nice. And I have decided that needs to come up a little bit. And so that's starting to look quite nice. And in fact, if we look at this, we could probably scale that out just a little bit more. Now, let's have a look at how many roof support parts we can have. In fact, we'll collapse all of that. So, utilities tab, collapse, collapse selected. And we have to convert that to an edible poly again. Now what we're going to do is, we'll need one for this corner as well, so holding shift, we're going to move it over here, hit Z, zoom in, and we'll make it kind of square off, and it's starting to look like a proper house. And what we're going to do one more over here. And now let's just make that sort of look a bit more presentable. And try and get this spacing to look about right. Uh, that's close enough for the purpose of this tutorial. And we'll do the same again, holding shift. And <laughs> not quite right, but we'll get there. Uh, it's, uh, it's again, it's close enough. Right, so now what we need is a handrail. The handrail could probably just be a really sort of simple box. We'll make it one high and wide. The width will be, you know, 40 or whatever it needs to be. Um, now that's the problem with the grid being here. So what we're going to do, let's move that out. We're going to select all, except for that. And we're going to move everything up. Now this line here is zero on the z-axis. So I'm going to move that up. So it looks like it's about right. And what we're going to do is move this in a bit, and then up. In fact, I reckon the handrail should... Let's just fix that view because I rotated it a little bit. I reckon this handrail should actually be up about here. So what we're going to do is select all these vertical supports. Collapse again. Convert to edible poly. And now they're all one object. We can move them all at once. So what we're going to do is select all of these guys. up a little bit, deselect, and move it up a little bit more, doesn't look perfect, but whatever, now what we want to do is scale that down a little bit, and we've got ourselves what 
kind of looks like a handrail. That needs to be a bit wider. And that's starting to look quite good. But what we're actually also going to need is Just to keep poly counts low, I'm going to space them out a little bit more like this. In fact, we'll collapse that and convert to editable poly again. Hold shift, move, and again, you can take more time to make this look more perfect, but again, this is just a demonstration. And you can see I haven't got angle snap toggle. So shift and then rotate and we've cloned it. Now what we're gonna do is bring it this way and across. And in fact, these are a lot closer together so we don't actually need as many. So what we're gonna do is hmm, three looks like it's enough. So select by element, so every individual piece is selected with one click rather than all the polys at once. So we'll get rid of that. And what we'll do is clone it a couple of times just to get what we want. this case we actually need more of these again so we're going to go into this into the right object at least and we're going to go element so one click we select the whole piece and I'm going to copy that across and what I just did was not what I planned let's go back in again element hold shift and move it I want to clone two elements so it stays inside that object rather than creating a new object which would be named object one for example. So element and now we're going to just go and move that across a bit so it's you know it looks about right. Grab this handrail, rotate 90 degrees and let's looking better. Now I could just keep trying to scale it right or I could just convert to editable poly and bring that in. That looks alright. It's starting to look quite nice. Rotate again. And we're almost done with this handrail, which is probably a little bit tedious, considering we spent eight fucking minutes on it. Not that I'd swear about it or anything. So, I'm probably going to have sped that up. So, after editing, welcome back to me having sped all this up. <laughs> And now what I'm going to do is select inverse. I'm just going to collop collapse all of that. Collapse it, yes. Hmm. Making up words here. So we'll collapse that and we'll convert to edible poly. So we've got a nice sort of handrail and, you know, we've got the start of a really nice uh, veranda with a handrail so you can lean against it and observe. Now, what I'm actually going to do is... Let's add some windows, I guess. So, in you know, I guess in the right sort of era, what's going to happen is you'll have something that will. That what we'll do is we'll use connect, and we'll do 
that. And so now, I'll grab this and this, and put this polygon here, we'll extrude it outwards, and we'll bring it like that. And in fact, it's even a better idea if we bring it across like this and make it more of the front. So you can sort of see that it's kind of meant to be a sort of window box, which, you know, would look nicer if I had a clue. So for now, that's pretty much it. There's our window box. And what I'm actually going to do is undo all of that. And I'm just going to call it quits here. And I'm going to come back and do the rest of it in the next part.